Hello, welcome uh, back friends. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to graph a log function. So, we got this function log of, sorry, y is equal to log of x plus 3 to the base 2 plus 4. Now, here, yeah, this is, uh, this uh, function is a transformation of the basic graph y is equal to log of x to the base 2. Okay. Now, a log function, you know, you should be knowing that uh, it's uh, a, the opposite of exponential function. So let us first graph this, and then from this we'll understand this. Now, so let us, it's a good uh, way of drawing graphs, of taking some values uh, of x. Okay, so here, if suppose we take 1, Okay, so we are saying log of 1 to the base 2 is 0. Okay, okay, so if you take 2, log of, so let me write this so instead of, so can I say when you put take 1, you are saying log of 1 to the base 2 is 0. Why? Because 2 to the base 0 is 1. Log of 2, so when x is 2, you are saying, what is log of 2 to the base 2? So that is 1. Why? Because 2 to the power 1 is 2. When it is 3, oh, you have to take not 3 to get a neat point. You have to take 4. You have to take the powers of 2. So log of 4 to the base 2 is 2. How do I know that? Because 2 squared is 4. So if you take 8, it's log of 8 to the base 2. And that is 3 because 2 to the power 3 is 8. So let's plot these points. So the first coordinate is 1, 0. So this is 1, 0. The next is 2, 1. This is 2, comma, 1. The next is 4, comma, 2. And 8, comma, 3. So this is, these are the points. Now, when you take a number, suppose log of a negative number is not defined. So as you come closer and closer to uh, zero, uh, your y-axis becomes the asymptote. Okay, I'll show this on a calculator. You can graph this on a graphic calculator. So the your this is the graph of. So let me draw this plot. So this is. Oops. I can draw that better. So this is fine, okay. And then this is this will be asymptoting towards the y-axis, okay. So this will never intersect the y-axis. So this is your asymptote, or your y-axis becomes the asymptote. Uh, now just to explain that, uh, if you take say, if you take half. Okay, so if you take, say, half, this is log of half to the base 2. So we are asking 2 to which power gives you half? That is 2 to the power negative, 2 to the power uh, negative 1 gives you, so this is, this is 1 half. Okay, so if you take 1 quarter, Okay, suppose if you take one quarter, you are asking log of quarter to the base 2. So this will be again a small number. So 2 to uh, which base gives you, 2 to which power gives you one quarter. Okay, so of course you have to use log. So again, this will be again a small number. So as this value x approaches 0, as x approaches 0, y will be approaching uh, a very uh, infinitesimally small number. Okay, so it will be approaching infinity, but it will be uh, less than zero. Okay, so that's why. So now if you want to show, if I want to show this on a graphic calculator, get a graphic calculator out. Now this can be written, if you want to graph this, you go to graph, and then you have to type in log of x divided by log of 2. Okay, so you have to type in log of 
x divide by log of 2 there is a formula I'll explain that formula later and then if you graph it can you see this is your this is your log graph of log of x to the base 2 okay now okay so now the question is this is the graph of log of log of x to the base 2 now this is a transformation of this graph so this plus 2 means the this graph has trans has moved 3 to the left it has moved 3 to the left and it has moved 4 up okay so this this plus 3 means this parabola sorry this uh, log graph has moved or each point on this graph has moved three to the left and four up okay now I was telling you how there's a formula this is log of X this is nothing but log of X divided by log of 2 okay I don't have the time to prove this uh, but it's suppose if you uh, to explain this in a different way log of 1 to the base 2 is 0 how can you do this on a calculator if you press in log of 1 divide by log of 2 that will give you 0 log of 2 to the base 2 is 1 how can you do on a calculator log of 2 divide by log of 2 okay that's 1 if you want to do this you simply do log of 4 divided by log of 2 that will give you 2 okay hopefully that's clear so now to get the transformed uh, graph you have to move this these points three to the left and four up so this point one zero will move three to the left so one two three and four up one two three four okay at this point will move three to the left so one two three and four up one two three four am i right one two three one two three four this will move three to the left one two three and four up one two three four okay and this will again move three to the left one two three one two three four okay now this is an asymptote your y-axis which was an asymptote for log of x to the base 2 will move three to the left and four up so that means it can't if you move up doesn't make any difference so your asymptote in this case will become like this it will basically move three to the left one two three so this is your asymptote okay so this is your asymptote and you uh, and your graph will move so this will i will i explain how uh, how to find the y-intercept. So the y-intercept would be somewhere here. Okay, you can't plot it exactly. So it'll be exactly somewhere here, but I'll explain that. Now to graph this, you basically join these points. So this would be going like this. we we'll find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Okay, so this is your, this is your graph of y is equal to uh, log y is equal to log of x plus 3 to the base 2 plus 4. Now we'll, we'll have to show the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So this is your y-intercept. Okay, so to draw x in the graph, so this will be a sum toting towards this line. So this is your, uh, let, us let us draw, let us find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The graph is y is equal to log of x plus 3 to the base 2 plus 4. So your y-intercept, your y-intercept is uh, when x is equal to 0. Okay, so let's find the y-intercept. So y would be log of. Uh, this is 0 plus 3 is 3 to the base 2 plus 4. So now to 
do you can do this on a calculator like this this is nothing but log 3 to the base 10 of course divided by log of 2 to the base 10 plus 4 so let me use a calculator so 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 this is log of 3 divided by log of 2 plus 4 just like that that's 5.58 that did it make sense yes it's 5.58 so you can say your y intercept is 5.58 so 5.58 comma 0 okay and uh, to find the x intercept so x intercept is when y is equal to 0 you can do this on a calculator later on but uh, so when you put y is equal to 0 0 is equal to log of x plus 3 to the base 2 plus 4 okay so if you take away 4 from both sides log of x plus 3 to the base 2 is equal to negative 4 so now this is same as x plus 3 is equal to 2 to the power negative 4 which is 1 over 2 to the power 4 which is 1 over 16 oh, 1 over 2 to the power 4 uh, was right yeah 16 so x is minus 3 plus 1 over 16 so let's use the calculator minus 3 oops minus 3 plus 1 divided by 16 which is minus 2.9 uh, or 9 2.94 in 2 dp minus 2.94 in 2 dp so and does the graph make sense yeah minus 2.94 so if you if they're asking you to write the y x intersect x intercept is 2.94 comma 0 now the finally we'll check this on a calculator how to do this on a calculator you will go graph and delete this so this is log of x plus 3 divided by log of 2 so you type in log of x plus 3 divide by log of 2 plus 4 and let's see how the okay so we, let me make this scale bigger so that you can see your graph okay okay so can you see this is if you uh, press g solve and y intercept 5.58 okay that's exactly that we got okay so this point okay so this point when when x is 6 y is 7 so you can check that like this g solve y calc when x is 6 uh, so y is uh, when x is 6 this is this point uh, this point no this is phi isn't it this is phi when x is so graph this just saw this point is phi 7 so y calc when x is phi phi 7 okay exactly we have got this and when x is 1 y is 6 so G sol y calc when x is 1, y is 6. So we have confirmed our graph. We have shown all the key features or relevant features. See you in the next video.